I've got a big old <laughs> box and a little parcel because clearly they couldn't fit all in the box to share with you today. I've got an Abercrombie and Fitch haul to share with you all. It's my first Abercrombie haul ever and it's a January haul so I feel like I feel like it's the perfect time of year to try something new. It's not like I've never shopped in there before, but I've never ever done a whole haul, so I'm really excited to share with this with you. And there was a pair of vegan leather trousers that inspired this whole haul that if they look as good on me as I've seen them look on the girls on Instagram, I am gonna be the happiest woman in the whole of Wales right now. <laughs> I feel like I ordered this a few weeks ago, maybe like a week and a bit ago. Um, so it's been a long time waiting to, open these pieces so it's going to be just as much of a surprise for me I think as you but I remember when I was ordering I got very overwhelmed with how many amazing pieces there were on the website and I just kept adding and adding and adding to my basket so bear with me on this one but it's going to be a good one I just know it I also really love the fact that they had like sizes in inch by the waist for the trousers just felt like I had to throw that out there because you don't see that very often these days and I was really really impressed with that and also leg length I think was a thing so yeah it was there was like I think there was like petite regular and tall they might have even been like 32 34 I can't remember but let's just crack into it and see how it goes I also forgot I found some like skims dupes on there so I got really excited and ordered a few of those too so there's gonna be so many little surprises I think in today's video you'll be really excited so if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button with the alarm bell button on as I upload videos every single week um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy today's video and want to see more and if you do then don't forget to pop to my Instagram and TikTok the handles exactly the same as it is here and I share daily outfit info and style tips every single day so starting off because I hadn't ordered from them before I was a little bit unsure what size to order so I'm going to do some cutaways where I'm talking through like how they fit and stuff but this is the first skims dupe and I have to say the quality feels insane the color is gorgeous what a lush neckline this is a really good wardrobe basic now I'm pretty sure I had some things in the sale but it says it's 45 pound and I have picked this up in a medium. I think the size looks good. It looks a nice length as well. I'm five foot nine and a UK size 12, just for reference. Um, so yeah, I'll try this on, let you know how it fits. And it feels so soft and so dreamy. And I feel like it's the kind of thing you'd be able to get away with no bra on, which is like my idea of heaven. <laughs> I hate wearing a bra. And I also picked it up in white in a size medium. So I may as well just show you that one really quickly too. Um, if I can find something in white that is double lined and I don't have to wear a bra in, in I'm just the happiest girl ever. This is one of those things because I just, I find them so uncomfortable. Like even, even like the material ones, it's just not a vibe of me. So this is exactly the same, gonna look really nice. I'll obviously style it with some of the trousers from the video that I'm about to share with you, but it looks gorgeous and I think the fit is gonna be great. Same price again, 45 pound, which does seem a little bit steep for a little top, but I feel like, the amount of wear, I've got some Zara basics like this and the amount of wear I've got out of them, they've started to go a bit scruffy. I have had them probably like three or four years and I wear them under things as nice tops to go out in, under blazers, I wear them as like a layer. Like I, I actually think I wore them skiing as like a, as a warm layer, like to have lots of layers on. They are so, so versatile and handy and I honestly really hope they're great. Okay, so starting off, the trouser saga I feel like I'm gonna call it a saga because it might go on for a while oh they look too small for me I can tell they're gonna be too small by looking at them I picked up a 29 waist don't you know what I was thinking there because I think I'm a 31 I think I just wanted to try a few sizes and see but they look really nice as a wide leg trouser and I think my idea was whatever fits I can know that's my size and then order the things that I really love in that size moving forward. I think that's why I ordered lots of different sizes. However, I've got to say the leg length looks perfect, like literally perfect. I got these in a long because it says 8L. It says 28, size 29, 8L. Ultra wide, ultra high rise, wide leg. And my bloat friendly girlies, if you are struggling with a bit of holiday bloat or if you're just bloated in general like I am I have IBS and I just 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 I accept it's my life now um 
they have some stretch in the waistband. Yes to that because oh my god sitting down in any trousers that don't have stretch on the waistband is not fun is it? So if you are also, like I just said those things, I'm sat under a 30 days of bloat friendly outfits over on my Instagram and TikTok so make sure you're following over there to secure that. Even if like you don't suffer with IBS but you just are a little bit bloated, a little bit tummy conscious, maybe that's just not your favourite area. This out, this series is the one for you, so make sure you're following along for that one, um, because there's going to be lots of stretch friendly things in there like these. Yeah, so the leg length looks amazing. I'll see how the waist length goes. I normally do struggle with trousers being like with trousers being a little bit too big on the waist because they have to fit me everywhere else, and then they're always too big here. So this whole new waist sizing thing could be the biggest game changer for me ever. So I'm very very excited about that. In case you can't tell. Also, I don't know if I said hello, hi, I'm Katie. I literally can't remember, but I am Katie, hello, hi. And I'm really glad that you're here. If you wanna shop anything for today's video, it will be linked down below in the description box. You can also find links to my Instagram and my TikTok there. <laughs> Sales pitch done. Okay, so I think I picked up the same trousers in a 30 long to see the waistband because I knew I wanted these as a pair of trousers. Um, I've been looking for this nice stone pair. Oh no, they're slightly different. I've been looking for a nice stone pair of trousers. I feel like I'm covered in something. I don't know where it's come from. Um, for a really long time, this soft sand colour. I feel like you can find camel coloured ones quite easily, but this colour, this like light beige, sandy tone, I found it quite hard to find. So these look so amazing, I had to try them. They actually have, these ones I don't like as much personally off, but we'll see how they look on. Um, like a hem at the bottom. Kind of looks like they've been taken up, so I don't really love that. Um, the length, again, looks really great. I'm thinking the 30 waistband is gonna be better for me. That looks like a great fit. And again, we have some stretch in there. It doesn't look that much, but it is actually a good stretch. Um, so yeah, they look really nice, really good. Can't wait to try them on. Uh, they are an ever so slightly different shade. To those i don't know if you can see this is slightly more stone color this is slightly more sand so just for reference and i think i didn't mention the price of these these ones are 65 these ones are also 65 i'm rummaging around to find these these vegan leather trousers that i needed in my life and i did happen to pick them up in two colors because i wanted to try two sizes on in them so i thought rather than just getting two black i got one black and one brown so Let's see how they are in real life. They do look very flattering. I can already see by the holding them up at the shape, they go in at the waist, which is great. Um, I got a 31 inch waist on these. They actually look all right, because I feel like I thought they'd be less stretch than the wide leg ones that I just shared with you. And there is, there's, there's oh, hang on. No, they have, they, they look really thin, but there's actually elastic in them. It's quite stretchy, which is epic. Thank you, Abercrombie. Um, these are slightly higher price point, so they are £82. They look great. The leg length looks perfect. Really excited to try them on. They look lush quality. And you know the kind of pairs of trousers where you're like, I could just get rid of all the other ones now that I like only semi-like. And also they've got a really soft, it's not fur, but it's like a really soft um, inner. So, and they also don't sound like they'll be squeaky or too noisy as a pair of leather trousers, so. Very excited for those. 30 in the brown. So we shall see. I didn't think to just measure my waistband, did I? I don't remember the last time I measured my waist or my waist or anything like that. So who actually knows? Um, but oh, they are nice, but they definitely look smaller. I think the 31 is probably going to be a better fit for me on them. These ones are 82. Uh, the colour of the brown is really nice. I didn't want anything like too ready and it's a nice deep chocolatey brown. It's not like a ready brown. I feel like it might be coming up a little bit red on the camera, but it's really not in real life. It's like a nice deep brown. I thought this would just look lovely. Like I know it's, it's not really the end of, it's not the end of winter yet, is it? Because it is only January and I feel like the cold weather's only just come to be honest. So you'll get a good few months wear of them before it is summertime, but they're the kind of like item that will just come back in every year. Because I have a pair from Zara that I've black ones, wide leg. I've worn them every year for the past like, say, three years. Um and I just love styling them at Christmas. They always look great and they always look really nice with my Uggs as well. So my Ugg Taz, I don't know if these will 
be wide leg enough we'll see but they look really nice and i really like the color there's also not much if any of a fishy smell <laughs> which i think needs to be mentioned when you're talking about leather trousers because we all know the situation the <coughs> these are i'm losing my voice a bit so i don't know if i mentioned i was a little bit unwell over christmas i was two weeks i was just completely wiped out and i'm still like still recovering and i'm like it's bloody january can we just get on with it now i want to be like fit and healthy and getting on with my life um, but I'm still like, you know, sniffling and a bit, I have not spoken this much probably. And I filmed three YouTube videos. So that's probably the situation. Um, 90 straight ultra high rise. I'm really, 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 really excited to try them on. You will see me in the cutaway, give a thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, I might be talking, I don't know what I filmed, but we shall see. But either way, they look like they're going to be good. Let's keep everything crossed. As I got so excited about trousers, I obviously had to pick up a pair of jeans because I've been looking for a pair of like, you know, you just want to have a favourite pair of jeans. I probably have one favourite pair, but they don't fit quite right. And I really want to find a favourite pair that fit perfectly. So, with that in mind, I picked up some, these are 29 inch waist, so we'll see how they go. I'm going to go measure my waist after this video and just check that the sizing is right. The leg length looks amazing. I really like the colour. They're like a really dark wash. Um, quite bluey, but I really do like them. Um, they've got that like, um, what's it called? Like a brown stitching throughout, which gives me like that Levi vibe. They haven't got a like, you know, like little tag on the back like most jeans do. I do really like the look of them. I'm really intrigued to see how they fit. The length length looks great. And it says curve love. So I'm thinking, I think when I was on the website, it said something about like coming in at the waist and like being wider on the hips, which I am. So fingers crossed, they fit great. They're £75. So again, it is slightly a higher price point, but I just feel like I'd rather have one great pair of jeans that I wear to death than have 25 pairs. Like I've got my bloody wardrobe. If not more, I've probably got more that I don't love and like like wear once or twice a year. It's like, what's the point? I'd rather have less is more, okay, when it comes to clothes. Less but good quality. It overrides any day having more of shit quality. And I know it's harder, like it's not necessarily easy for someone to just go buy a 75 pound pair of jeans. I would really make sure that they are the best jeans I can find for 75 pound. However, if they are, I'd much rather spend that money because two pairs of jeans is probably 75 pound these days if not 100 pound so they're not that much more really when you think about it in that way however if you've got loads of pairs of jeans like i have and none of them fit quite right maybe it's time to start thinking sort of this way could i just invest could i sell them all on vinted and spend that money to buy myself one really nice pair of jeans I guarantee you, you can, because Vinted is amazing. Oh my God, the amount of stuff I sell on there, if you're not already on Vinted and you're a size 12, basically come to my page because I just have, I have clearance all of the time. Um, and yeah, there's some great bits on there. And I normally sell everything like half retail price and quite often it's brand new with tags. So I'll leave that link down below. Um, this looks so freaking cute. This is like a boucle jacket. This is giving Chanel vibes. I am a little bit in love, a little bit obsessed. This is so nice. I picked it up in a medium. Like I said, I've never shopped in there for years. So I really didn't have a clue of my size. But I think when I looked at the size chart, I said I was about a medium. And this does look like it's going to fit great. I'm envisaging this with a satin midi skirt, some of those sun trousers, maybe even one of those jeans. I don't have any of those like ballerina pumps. But have you seen the like Chanel ballet pumps? Now, they're going to be on my wish list. I think I might put them on my vision board this year. I haven't done my vision board yet. I think I might do a really nice handbag and a really nice pair of shoes on there because, like I said, more, more is more. <laughs> Less is more. And I'm going for quality over quantity this year. But, I mean, that is a bit of a stretch. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe. Who knows? Lots of things on my vision board came true from last year and they happened the year before and it happened the year before. So never say never. And if you don't think you'll be able to achieve it, you never will. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a, a hype up here on the momentum for January. And if you haven't done a vision board yet, you need to do them. Like I saved mine as my back, back screensaver of my phone. I can't tell you how many of these things have come true. 
Oh. Sometimes they won't come true for like a year or two, but they come true. So this just happened on my Instagram, like literally last week. Um, what else has happened? This has happened. I got engaged. Okay, we haven't had our wedding, but um, we've moved into our new home. This picture was from our new home. We went to Bali in the summer. Um, and now we're looking at booking out. This is Croatia. We want to get married in Croatia. So this one, we've just decided we're going to book. This is the Maldives honeymoon, which we want to have after our wedding. So this all going to come true within the next year or so, year and a half. So, and this is my vision board from a year, a year ago. Like, so it's literally incredible. And I also want to go to Paris for my hen or on a romantic weekend. And I'm sure me and Rachel will manage to squeeze that one in at some point. So I feel like it will happen. And if it's there, it's at the front of your mind. I don't know what it is, something about it, but it just works. Anyway, back to the haul. But I just felt like I wanted to share that with you because I feel like sometimes people just think like, oh, that person's really lucky. But it's, it's not luck. It's like, it's an intention. You set an intention and you follow through with actions to fulfill that goal and it will happen because it has to. It might take time, but it will happen. I think this is a maxi dress. I think because I was getting so excited about the trousers, I was like, okay, I wanna try other stuff from them to make sure I feel like I've tried everything. So I picked up this dress. I'm not sure how I feel about the material, but I think it is probably gonna look really nice on. Um, it's a strange material. But I picked it up in the navy because I think the black was out of stock. I'm much more of a uh, black kind of person normally. But I'm getting into navy and I do think it's a really nice classy alternative to black. If you're getting a bit bored of black and you're looking for something new, navy, maybe the one. When my mum hears this, she's going to wet herself because she literally used to live in black to a point where I had to say, come on now, Sal, the whole wardrobe does not need to be black. And then what she did was move to navy. So <laughs> she's gonna laugh when I say that, but I do actually think navy is a really classy color and it this looks really beautiful. And I think by the look of the fit, it'll fit really nicely. I picked it up in a medium and this I know was in the sale, but it won't say on here. So it says 90 pound, but I think it was half price in the sale, which I think is about 50 pound. And it's just one of those like nice things to have in the wardrobe. You know, if like you have something, I went to a baby shower on the weekend and you just need something like that, slightly elevated, but that you could wear every day. You don't feel too over the top in. I feel like that would be really nice. Equally, you could take it on a holiday with you, wear it in the evening for a meal. So it could be quite a versatile thing. Um, you could probably wear that in the day as well with your favorite coat on and some maybe like some biker boots to really chunk it down. Big scarf, big hat, that kind of thing. Maybe on a city break. Actually quite a versatile dress, date night. So yeah, I like that. Uh, this is, I think, one of the Skims dupes again. This is a bodysuit, however. It's quite a funny colour, this. It's coming up quite a strange colour in the light. Um, so this has got a square neckline. I feel like it's kind of similar to what I'm wearing, if this was square. I do love a square neckline. I think they're really flattering. Um, I don't love bodysuits because I just find them slightly uncomfortable. But this is a thong one. So if we're going to go for one, I'd rather go for a thong one than a big granny pant because they always show the granny pant lines. Um, and this is massively a skims dupe and it's £52 but the material is divine and is also double lined so I'm feeling like you may be able to go braless in this which like I think I mentioned at the start <laughs> makes me very happy. So as you can see lots of nice like good quality basics um, hoping that they're going to fit well you'll see on the cutaways how they're fitting but I'm quite impressed so far I have to say. But I equally do think you are paying a little bit more for, but for better quality. So, oh, this is nice. I've been looking for a black basic top for ages. So if you saw my last Zara haul, I did pick up one in that. Um, and it was a little bit see-through and the material was a little bit wetsuit vibes. But I've been looking for something like, like this, but I did want it a little bit higher neckline. I don't, I don't love a V. Don't know. I don't dislike it. It's a bit of a scoop more than a V, is it? I guess that's a V, isn't it? It's a bit more of a scoop, but... I don't mind like an open neckline or a little bit of a scoop, but I just, this is a little bit, but this looks like a little bit less of a scoop than I've got on now. And this looks really nice quality and it is definitely a skim scoop because it's so soft, no wetsuit material vibes. It's £39. Okay, so I've just popped the first top on. I was going to do a cutaway, but I think I need to talk it through. So as you can see when I turn to the side, actually, the lines are great today. Um, 
The bust is like way too big. There's just too much material up here. It's quite loose, quite saggy, and it's causing a lot of wrinkling like all over the material. Like normally I don't mind a little bit, but it's super wrinkly and I just feel like it's not, you want it to be like tight and neat and sleek. It's meant to be like clean girl vibe and it's not really given that. So for me, I'd option just to go down. Um, also when I've got it on, I don't know how I feel about the material, it is actually quite shiny. Um, and Rhys said he thinks it looks a little bit cheap and I'm like, well, £45 is not cheap. So I'm not sold on this one. I thought I was going to be and I'm not, but I'll carry on and hopefully we'll have some better ones. I got it in a medium. It's double lined. I think this is going to be an absolute keep that looks absolutely dreamy. I can't wait to try you on. I've got another pair of trousers. Which look awfully like some trousers that I've already just shown you right at the start. But <coughs> we've only got a few more pieces, so hang in there till the end. Um, I feel like maybe I just picked them up from a different size. These look exactly like the ones I picked up at the start. But they're 29 inch waist. I think I was just not sure if I was a 29, a 30 or a 31. Didn't think to get a measuring tape out. I just thought I'd buy all different sizes on Klarna and um, see which ones fit best. It has got a stretchy waistband, but I just, I feel like I know no, they're not going to fit me. And if they do, they'll be bloody tight, which will probably make my belly poke out more, which we don't want. But equally, always good to try, especially with Klarna. I feel like if you haven't tried Klarna, it is really, really cool because you can basically order, like I've done today, a huge haul of stuff. You don't pay for anything unless you keep it. So it's basically like having a try on at home. It's like going into the shop, but you've ordered everything, but you haven't had to pay for it. And I, I could send it all back and not pay a penny maybe you have to pay postage to some places but i think that's incredible i can literally try everything on and not pay a penny it's not like a, like a credit card or like a debit card and you've got to pay it back or like it's just so so handy if you're looking for new stuff and you're like i just need to order it all i have a try on a send back what i don't like i find it the handiest thing ever and you literally just pay for what you keep and it's, it's genius i wish i thought of it because it's genius these are different for me a stone pair of jeans. These are really different, but I think I'm gonna love these on. They look amazing. They're a 30 waist. This is 10L, so this must be slightly longer. They do look slightly longer. Um, the colour on these, what an actual dream. I don't think I've ever seen a pair of jeans this colour, but I have fallen in love. I didn't know you could fall in love with a pair of jeans, but I just did. I literally just did. They're 75 pound. They're 30 inch waist, the 90s relaxed jean in high rise, and they're 10 L long. Don't know what that means, but they look amazing. I'm really praying that I love these because I feel like these will be the spring jeans that I live in, if that's the case. Um, and they're a bit different, which I really like. I'd like to find things that are a little bit different. Not too boring. Like these trousers I've got on today, I love these. They've got like a little pinstripe in. I've never bloody worn them. I didn't realise till today I've never ever worn them because I only took the tag off them and I've had them about six months. But that's the good thing about moving house is you go through your whole wardrobe and you're like, oh, I've basically got all these things I've never knew I had. And it's like, because I put it back in all tidy and I can see what's there, I just like I've got a new wardrobe. It's pretty great. Actually, on that thought, I will be doing some house stuff and I probably will get back to vlogging. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a vlog and especially if you want any like house updates or if you want um, house content, um, stuff like that. Because at the minute I'm like refurbishing a whole, refurbishing a whole house? Furnishing a whole house, not refurbishing. <laughs> um, however, I did paint this wall myself. It's not finished yet. I'm gonna put some paneling on it and then I'm gonna do one more coat. But I'm really, really proud of myself because this was dark gray before. Um, and yeah, if you are interested in like house stuff, let me know in the comments and I will definitely either incorporate into vlogs or we could do some like housey bits. And I also have an Emma discount code if anyone's looking for an Emma mattress right now. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that one in there because it's so handy. They have a winter sale on, it's 20% off and I have a code for an extra 5%. I'll leave it on the screen, I'll leave it down below in the description box. And I'm going to finish off this haul with some PJs, which I could go and lay in in my Emma mattress. Um, yeah, which is absolutely bloody lush I have to say. I didn't know what the hype would be like. I'd slept on one Emma mattress at my friend's house once, and I have to say it was probably one of the best seats I've ever had, but I just thought maybe that was just luck, you know? Like it was just a good one, but 
um yeah the one we've got is incredible so i love it these are a dreamy pair of pjs i couldn't help myself they had so many nice pajamas if you're looking for a new pair just for like the new year nice new pajamas to start the new year these are super cute they're a little stripe they come in loads of different colors as well but i already have a pair of them in like red um so i fancy these nice creamy beige ones and they are lovely they're really really nice really nice quality look like they're gonna be a really nice fit um i got a medium it does look quite big i have to say it's really really quite wide um and then they've got i hope you can see the um detail and then a nice little cuff detail so yeah really really nice I like them 45 pound for the bottoms is quite pricey I've got a funny feeling they were in sale though and then 45 pounds for the top 90 pounds for champs <laughs> that is quite a lot i don't really think they're that much better quality than um say h&m pajamas unless money is no issue i might give them one to miss but <laughs> that seems a little bit pricey for pajamas i actually pay 95 pound pajamas and that doesn't sound like something i would do i feel like hang on they have to have been in the sale have been in the sale the top was 26 68 and the bottom was 26 68 which still does come to what 50 pound for pajamas it's quite a lot but equally they are really nice and I feel like, what, 30, 40 quid is normally what you pay for pyjamas these days. So, unless you shop in Primark. And they're like a tenner still. Um, although, even saying that, even in Primark these days, I think they're like £18 or like £20. So things are definitely going up. But it is what it is. Um, and they are really lovely. So I hope you enjoyed this first ever Abercrombie & Fitch haul. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see how they'll fit on. I hope you enjoyed me trying them on, signing them up, seeing how they are, my feedback. And... Um, if you did enjoy, make sure you hit subscribe with the number button on. Make sure you're following over on Instagram and TikTok, which is the same handle as here, at Katie Victoria Holland. I will see you in next week's video. We upload every single week. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all for being here. Bye. Also, let me know what haul or video you'd like to see next week. I have had quite a few requests for capsule wardrobes. So as like winter is... We're not at the end of winter, but I feel like spring would make more sense to do like a spring capsule wardrobe, but I know it's also probably a bit early. So, but anything you want to see in the future or coming up, please just let me know in the comment section below. If you have any favourites from today's video, let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any pieces you bought from Abercrombie that you love and you have to share, please do let me know because I'm all ears and I'm always open to uh, hearing your favourite things because I'd like to know what you guys like so I can keep making more videos like that. Thank you for being here.